I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Nobody wins when the family feuds. So the dispute between Gunplay and his wife continues. You guys remember Gunplay was arrested last month. According to his wife, he pointed the rifle after she told them to get off the Xbox. Now, in addition to that, Gunplay's wife is also filing for divorce. She alleges that Gunplay is back using drugs and that's not something she's willing to deal with. Yesterday, the arrest footage of Gunplay from that situation came out. And in that video, you can hear Gunplay basically tell the cops his side of the story. Well, today, Gunplay's wife decides to let loose a a whole lot of canon. It's always interesting to see when people are trying to win the opinions of social media. She posted a video of Gunplay destroying their television and in that video you can hear Gunplay tell her, yo, you think I care about a charge? You're a cop. Let me know. Yeah. So we go, guys, so we're gonna record. Yeah. All, you throw out all my shit, right? All my shit is gone? Hit me with it. You wanna hit me with it? No, I don't wanna touch you. Okay. Know. Everything's gone? Is everything? Did you go throw ahead my and shit? do what you're doing? Did you Please throw go ahead out and my shit? Doing. Did you throw out my shit? You think I care about a charge? Did you throw out all my shit for me wanting to buy another bottle of Hennessy? Huh? Let me know. Let me know. Man, you was a fucking cop. Let me know. The morning after when he sobers up. Let's go get me a new TV now. Yeah, we gotta go get, we gotta go get a new TV. We'll be right back with the new one. <laughs> Now she posted this video with the caption and said, I was trying my hardest to just let his low story slide, but I can't. Yes, I hit him with a bottle. I did anything possible to make him let go of our daughter and the police knows that. Furthermore, my grandmother has been dead for six years. They didn't know I could call the dead. This was back when I found out I was pregnant before we moved to Brickle. All of this because I poured out his Hennessy after he kept buying liquor tripping. Notice in his statements, he said it was me with Hennessy and he broke the TV over a game once before. He almost assaulted a fan in the parking lot just for saying I went to high school with you. She then called the police. That man can go from a thousand to two as soon as he sees the police. He did it that afternoon. This been the issue. I thought during my pregnancy, since things were better, he'll be okay. After Asana came, in God's sake, he went back to his old ways. I have plenty of recordings of incidents like this and how his aggression, drinking, and using progress over time. Now, here we are, present day, all the drama has transpired, and he says the very next day on the recorded jail call, he don't remember anything to multiple people. This is his cycle. At some point, enough is enough. Once again, I tried my very best to help him and change him and I failed. We all just want to move on and heal from this situation. So let's stop playing Nancy Drew and judging people. This situation is very serious. Let's pray for all parties involved. Listen, I understand where she's coming from, but maybe it's just me. I'm not leaking any videos. I'm not leaking nothing damaging anymore. If I'm trying to heal and move forward, not gonna expose old videos from the past. Sometimes when you're dealing with real life situations like this, it's best to just get off social media and handle it. We're not the court the cops, the jury, or the judge. So we really don't need to see a lot of these videos. But like she said, let's all pray for healing for everybody involved. Tell me what you guys think about this, man. Push comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'll see you guys later.